Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'll be looking into one of my previous projects. So this project was written in C++ and I created this project back in 2014, which is uh, five years ago. I attended the CSS class back in my country and this is the project that I created back then. All right, now um, we can have a quick look on how this project was built and what is the purpose of these projects uh, extra okay so now um, I actually have uh, three files so this file is called um, phoneshop.cpp which is C++ and this is the header file which is .h uh, uh, these two as well so we quickly look into the structure of the code and this is uh, I create like a class name called customer and um, this is the public which is uh, uh, clear like the idea which uh, accept like six character and this product name sex and this quantity uh, the price in the float so here this is the total which is a simple function to calculate the total of that and this is the uh, word quantity number um, so you would probably see something like this so this is the show cursor which is a function that is called or uh, get from the uh, on dot uh, h so which is uh, down here so right here so um, also this is the go to which is uh, basically in the terminal we can or we want to show something then we can just use go to x y so this is like the x and this is the y and um, it's going to show like a tag or something and um, this is the word price number that accept uh, the float uh, as the parameter and um, this show like unaccepted letters if uh, the value is not correct and also I have the um, this temp uh, call it as the my temp dot bin so I'm going to show save all the data into the bin data and this is the um, menu uh, functions this is the insert uh, view update search delete and also exit the program and this is the uh, main which include all of this the welcome the login the menu and also the get ch so um, all of this you can see it going to display this as a menu which uh, include all of this information and you can see that um, I use like a switch this is the option with the case of uh, 80 or 72 if you are not sure what this is this actually uh, I use the ASCII code so um, here from the website you can see that the ASCII code uh, contain all of this information so let's say in this case I use like 80 and um, it's getting from the uh, arrow up and down and I also use like the extended ASCII as well so if I want to show or to display like a border of the program then I can use some of this style here and um, I want to also mention that I in this case I use the uh, dev C++ which is a program that compile the uh, C++ um, application here and uh, if you want to actually see me how to run this using the Visual Studio code then let me know as well because um, I just want to remind what I did previously uh, basically like five years ago so I just want to remind all of those memory and um, now let's get back to the program so here you can see I use all of this uh, go to again and uh, this is the while loop we, we will actually uh, understand what the code does when we or uh, I try to show you in the uh, when it run uh, the, the application is running okay so this is go to and also the get ch and um, these are all condition like the total and press uh, to continue or others to um, display something else and uh, this is the view which uh, we can actually show the price or something and uh, this is the update uh, function which we can also update using the id and um, here the delete which uh, again we're going to open and this is the RB which is the read or this is the write and also uh, basically like 
whenever that we try to delete or try to update then we want to actually open or save that data into a temporary file so which is why we have two uh, bin file one is temporary and the other one is the actual data that's saved and um, this is all of the uh, enter the data uh, ID to delete and this is the average so we basically read the data coming from the bin uh, file otherwise this is something else and uh, we show like a message saying uh, deleted is uncompleted otherwise it's going to show like deleted successfully and this is we call a function uh, and this is the rename and um, next one here is the search function so we can enter like the ID to search if it uh, exists then uh, we show the information otherwise we're going to show a message of saying no records and this one here is to leave the application so there will be like a dialogue asking if you actually want to uh, exit then if we click on the yes then um, it's going to uh, exit the application if no it's going to stay on the uh, application and all right so um next one here look uh, quickly look into the uh, and dot h so the aunt is actually the um, school that I attended it's called um, aunt and that's why I just put this as a aunt but um, it's not like a phone shop I just uh, create like a project which is uh, using the school name back then and um, so here we have all of the uh, login so we will see in a minute what it look like and this is the invalid otherwise we have like in this case we have three choices if um, the password doesn't exist then uh, or it's invalid it only allow user to enter three times otherwise it's going to exit the program and this is the uh, welcome which going to show you what it look like uh, it actually showing like a copyright 2014 and this is the version one um so this is the adding and this is the height cursor uh show the cursor this is a small menu and um here you can see the project's called phone shop and we have like a username and password in this case uh, this is just uh, uh four and this is my name so uh actually my in cambodian name uh we have the surname in front of the uh, first name so this is what you can see uh, right here so and this one here I use the un header which is the header that getting from the school uh, itself so uh, I don't create this file I just use it so this is the delay and this is to lower which is converting the character to lower case or to uppercase and check if this is actually a number if not we're going to do something and this is the go to function uh, like you can see the coordinate uh, X Y and this is clearing the screen and one here is the four color um, all right I think um, that's basically it we can actually go in detail if you like to see a video on how um, I explain it uh, step by step or in detail right now um, I think it's time to show you what the application look like so now uh, I can click on the execute and click on run to see the uh, result. So here you can see the login information and this is the username and password. So first I'm going to uh, create something else which is not correct. So it says invalid username or password. I'm going to enter incorrect uh, password and uh, username three times. Then you will see something else. So it says here you have one more chance and now I still enter it incorrectly sorry you have no chance as you can see I'm going to click enter and you see preset it exited after this uh, seconds and I click on any of the uh, enter key in this case then it is going to exit the application now I'm going to go again and enter the correct password so here username and uh, this is the password and you can see that this is the aunt phone shop which is the name of uh, this application and you can see all of this color which I change um, I use like a function inside the application to change it uh, every uh, second and um, here the copyright 2014 and this is the version 1.0 and this is uh, all I create using 
uh, this ASCII table right here. So I combine that and to create look exactly this um, as a uh, phone uh, itself. So you can see here and this is Samsung and this is like a menu which is uh, I got this ASCII code. Alright so um, now let me click on this here and then um, I'm going to enter the enter key. Alright, so here this is the menu that we can see. Uh, right now we don't have any record, so what I need to do, I need to enter uh, to insert or I can use the arrow key to go down. Uh, this is enter to update, to search, to delete, uh, to exit. And here the tip as well, down here, so say use arrow key to uh, scroll up or scroll down. Right here I'm going to insert a new data so in this case the data uh, actually the id i just uh, enters as 01 and also i have a condition on how to uh, accept only four character as you can see i can't type any uh, to show here it only showing uh, four character it's going to stop me from entering otherwise it going to uh, show me like the exit this uh, border and that's going to be a problem so all right i'm going to do it as a zero one and the product i'm going to call this as uh, just phone and uh, again it's going to uh, limit myself as well from typing and uh, the name i just call it as uh, in this case iphone 11 all right and um, sex it can be male or female. I just uh, entered as M, as male, and the quantity in this case I'm going to put it. Uh, let's say I enter the incorrect um, character. So you would see something like unaccepted letter. So it allow me to only, or it accepts only the number. So in this case I put it as three. And again for price, I put something else. You can see unaccepted letter. And here the price I would say um, 1000 for each uh, iPhone 11 and then I enter uh, here you can see the progress bar and this is the total which is 3000 and also this is as uh, it says like uh, press enter key to continue adding the records or the other keys to go back to the menu so um, I want to uh, actually go back to uh, the key so I press like in this case any key and it's showing uh, me the um, menu and I enter to view so this case you can see that actually the data has been uh, entered it's saved to the uh, bin file and this is the ID and phone uh, product phone which is uh, this is the name of the product and uh, the sex quantity price and total as well and now let me uh, do something like uh, actually to insert a new record so I'm going to use like two and you can see if I want to uh, there's a tip I want to uh, exit this I can do something like type the exit to lift the insertion or to lift this uh, screen so I type as this and press on the enter key it's going to go back as well now let me enter a new record so again I'm going to do something like uh, same as phone uh, in this case it's going to be oh, maybe Samsung um, 10 just for as an example and then this is the sex quantity going to be 10 or maybe just 8 and the price would be 800 so it's going to calculate for me this is the total price and i want to actually enter a new record i can press on the uh, enter key and you can see something like this but i'm not going to do it now i sit here going back to the enter to view here so you can see that uh, this is the record that we have entered and now uh, this is the uh, enter to update so i enter something else which is not exist and update isn't completed now uh, what I can do I can just press on the access ID and it going to the ID is 1 and 
um, I can now change the ID, um, the data of that uh, product. So again, it's going to be just phone. And in this case, uh, it's going to be iPhone um, 10. All right. And sex, a smell, quantity in this case, five. And um, quantity here is $900 and it showed the total down here instead when we try to update all right update successfully now i want to actually see the result the updated result so here you can see that the iphone now changed from iphone 11 to iphone x and the well this is the quantity and um, the total as well okay so um here uh, we have already updated the data and now we can actually search for the data as well So now I'm going to search something that does not exist number four no records and um, I search for the ID 01 it going to show me this result which is the result uh, which is the same as the one that we after updating the data and um, here number two going to show me this result as well and enter to delete so we can also delete the data i'm going to enter something that doesn't exist in the uh, deleting is not completed so what i can do i can just press on something that exists and it show me this dialog asking are you sure to delete and if we press on the white keyword it's going to confirm yes and if not and to cancel that so now i just uh, press on end to see uh, the update isn't completed and now again I try to do it and press on the wife deleting with this uh, um, delay as you can see as well there is something like progress bar updating successfully now I go back to enter the view here to see the result so you can see that one record has been deleted which is the ID 01 so um, last one here is the edit to ex uh, exit when I click on that, you can see that there are two here. So when I press on the arrow left and right, and I can actually choose here as well. So if I press no, then uh, it's going to uh, go to this menu. If I press on the yes here, it's going to terminate this application when I click on this again. All right. So um, I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, I just want to show you what I did previously. And not only that, uh, inside the uh, projects folder, I also have this as well back then. So um, here's the on phone shop. I use all of this ASCII to, uh, as you can see, like to uh, create this, the name. And this is the username, which is admin. And this is the password and this is the year that i built this application about me just my name and um uh, this is the software which is dev c plus and the custom header files have two and the program file which is the phone shop cpp and um one last file here is this file so this is all written in uh, khmer or in cambodian words and this is just my name and this is the date that i submitted this uh, project or this assignment and uh, this is about all of the uh, phone shop and um, this is uh, the features which is the welcome screen and all of these uh, things here and this is all the technology and the software that i use so which is this uh, which the version and the uh, c++ programming language so again, yep, if you want to actually see me how to explain all of the code in depth, then um, let me know. And otherwise, uh, see you guys in the next video.